you're under 50 years old and you're wondering, okay, what does all this have to do with me? Uh, Social Security and Medicare and retirement and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, well, I tell you, I've uh, helped hundreds of thousands of people out over the last few decades. And I hopefully it's, you don't need it. Um, you, you do need to, to focus on it a little bit. Um, I'm going to tell you exactly uh, what you need to address, but hopefully you don't need anything that I talk about in this video, but that's, you know, what they say is life is what happens while you're making other plans. So this is a video that you definitely should watch just in case. So you're prepared. As I say, we want to get you prepared for all possible futures. And uh, you don't need it until you actually need it. It's kind of like what lawyers, I guess, you know, injury lawyers say, you don't need us until you need us, and then you need us. So this is the same type of thing. Um, all right. And, and, I, and I can't tell you how many times I've heard, and again, I've talked to hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people, and when they're in their 50s and 60s and 70s and beyond, and uh, the, the common refrain is, I wish someone had told me this 10 years ago or 20 years ago or 30 years ago. I wish someone would have you know, shaken me up when I was you know, 25 or you know, 35 and said, okay, you should really do this. Well, this is that video. This is going to be that video. Um, all right. So this is not only for you. Um, the One of the things... You know, we're all in this together. So when you watch this video or any of my other videos, two couple of hundred videos I've already done and the other hundreds, hundreds I'm going to do in the future, um, if it doesn't apply to you, it doesn't apply to you. Perfect, beautiful, awesome. It eventually will apply to you, but maybe you're not interested right now. But I guarantee 100% there's someone around you that needs this information um, or the other information. So make sure you share. Um, and you know, uh, anonymously you can help out someone that you've never, never met before by subscribing and liking and commenting and all that other kind of YouTube stuff. So YouTube sends it out to more people and hopefully, you know, we can help someone, um, somewhere else in the country that you've never heard of, but you've helped them and you didn't know you helped them. So there's that. All right. The, the, the very first thing that everybody should do, um, if you're an adult working, um, tax season comes around, everybody focuses on doing their taxes and everything, you know, got to pay Uncle Sam. But before you put your tax stuff away, make sure that you go on to ssa.gov, set up an account, because what happens is you get your W-2 and that goes to the IRS. You do your taxes and then the IRS takes all that and sends that to SSA. And so SSA, Social Security Administration, has a record of that. And that's how, you know, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 years from now, when you go into retirement, that's how they determine how much your retirement benefit is by how much you actually paid into, you know, FICA taxes and Social Security and the IRS. Um, sometimes something gets missed there. Somewhere along the line, somebody, you know, transposes the number, or, you know, Social Security number or something like that. And, and. You know, 20 years from now, when you go into Social Security, they give you a super small check um, and you're saying, I've worked more of that. It says, yeah, but we didn't know that because you, know, you didn't check your earnings. So please check your earnings. Um, one of the other things, if you have a business, um, uh, it's a husband and wife business. Quite often what I've seen helping hundreds of thousands of people out is um the accountants quite often um will if, if you got the earnings the profits for a particular company they will put all of the fica all of the social security and medicare earnings on one social security number because you you know file together as a, as a business and they just put it under one and then 10 20 30 years later you know the the husband or the wife comes in um and one of them you know, it says, you know, I paid. No, it's, all that money went to your spouse. It didn't go to you because they didn't do it correctly. And by that time, it's too late. So when you do your self-employed type taxes, make sure you divvy it up and you do it the way you want it to be done. Right. So I've seen a lot of people, the spouse comes in 30 years later and, you know, they've gotten divorced or something. And yeah, they're 
struggling. So be careful of that. All right. Um, okay. Uh, here's hope, hopefully something you'll never need, but you need to be prepared. Um, disability. So if anything should happen to you and you're working and, you know, some 17 year old kid decides, you know, that uh, instead of seeing if the light is changing while he's driving down the street, he decides he wants to look at TikTok and he just plows the intersection and guess who's in the intersection? That's you because you never know. Um, you know, uh, life is what happens while you're making other plans. Mice and men, right? So many things refer to. You never know what's going to happen. So, and work in the Social Security Administration, anytime you see anything like that on the news, a terrible car accident, a fire, a tragedy, a shooting, anything like that, within a you know, week or so, the survivors come into Social Security and you know, file for you know, survivor benefits or the person files for disability benefits. So let me just give you the kind of the lowdown so that way you're prepared so you've got it in the back of your head. So Social Security d defines disability, number one, is the inability to work. So you cannot work because of your disability. And people often ask, well, does this disability count? Does this disability count? It, it doesn't matter basically what the disability is for the most part. It's just whether that disability keeps you from working. If that disability keeps you from working and your disability will last from, for 12 months or more, so we used to get people that come into Social Security all the time and said, hey, I broke my arm. I want to file for disability. Well, yeah, a broken arm doesn't last for 12 months to get uh, people that would come in and uh, um, they said, I want to file for disability. What's your disability? Uh, I'm pregnant. I can't work because of my pregnancy. I think pretty much in every state in the United States, pregnancy is under 12 months. Um, but technically, Social Security employees at that first stage, can't make that type of determination. So they actually have to take the claim. So they say, okay, what's your disability? I'm, I'm, I'm pregnant. And so they have to go through the whole rigmarole. And then, okay, it's not going to last 12 months. And they immediately deny it at that stage. But they, if you say, I don't care, I still want to you know, file a claim, the person has to do the claim. You'll get a denial, but it is what it is. So Disability, again, disability. So if anything's happened to you, hopefully it doesn't. And hopefully you can just, you know, do your cere cerebral vomit. I've been a university uh, professor for, adjunct professor for a few decades. So I always tell people after the midterm, you can do your cerebral vomit because everything on the, anyway. Um, so the, uh, you, you know, hopefully, you know, you won't need this, but if anything should happen to you or family or friends or anything like that, again, um, have them file for disability. Um, watch my videos uh, again. Um, well, again, I don't think I'm interested. I've got my website. It's mygovexpert.com. And you can go onto that website if you haven't already. Hopefully, you've gotten to this video through creating an account. So go to mygovexpert.com and um, create an account and then put your age and where you live and all that other kind of stuff. And uh, it'll set up a playlist. I've done you know, hundreds of videos. I can do a lot more. And rather than go through all of them and see what's appropriate to you, I've created this playlist resource um, that you can just go in there and find which one is appropriate for you. So mygovexpert.com and set up that. Okay. So that's disability. Hopefully you'll never use it. Um, watch my video also on whether you need a lawyer. I don't recommend, uh, you know, you get a lawyer if you want to, but the first and second stage, um, you know, I don't, it's, it's easy to do a disability claim and you can watch my video. I've got tips, tricks, and, you know, insider secrets on how to file for disability. So watch those if, uh, if that ever comes to, uh, uh comes to pass, hopefully it never does. All right. So, uh, preparation number two is, um, survivor benefits. So if anything even worse, more tragic happens and, you know, you shuffle off this mortal coil. Um, what's going to happen to your family and children and spouse and all that kind of stuff? That is survivor benefits. So basically, again, that's determined on how much you paid into Social Security is how much the survivors will get. And one of the things 
about all of this is again, none of these, you know, disability alone, you know, social security disability is going to pay you, but that alone is not going to be enough. You need other, you know, plans, life insurance, uh, you know, disability insurance. If you choose to go that route, there are other kind of private programs out there. Um, if you want to learn more about those, you just click the, uh, the learn more button um, below and I can put you in touch with uh, someone I know and trust um, that will uh, take care of you and no pressure and all that kind of good stuff um, and help you kind of evaluate whether you have enough coverage above and beyond the government, you know, benefits and programs we're talking about. But survivor benefits, so there are survivor benefits. For your children, um, if you have children, you can get, they can get benefits up until they're 18 years old. Unless they're in high school, then it continues until they're basically 19 in a couple of months. If you have disabled children that became disabled before the age of 22, they can get benefits essentially for their, all, their entire life as long as they're disabled. Um, so those are the survivor benefits. And uh, so hopefully that you know, won't have to use that, um, but those benefits are available there. And you can go on to ssa.gov and find out how much those survivor benefits are. And there's also a called what's called a family max. So um, there's a maximum that can be paid out to a family. So say, for instance, the, the maximum is, you know, 2100 and you have three kids, then each child will get $700. Right. And then if one child goes off, then you could that that remaining two child could get twenty one hundred dollars divided by the two. Right. So there's uh, those calculations there and it gets kind of complicated. But so watch my video and more details on that. I just want to give you kind of an introduction of all the programs out there available. Um, and that way you're prepared. Um, in terms of retirement, again, make sure you check your earnings record every year after you do your taxes. Make sure Social Security gets, you know, the, your benefits, uh, how much you paid into FICA reported correctly. Um, Social Security determines your benefit amounts when you retire um, by your high 35 years of earnings. A lot of people think it's, you know, the last three or the last five or the last year. No, it's your high 35 years of earnings. And that's adjusted for inflation, kind of a CPI index, but anyway, um, a wage index, actually. Um, so if, if you made, you know, $15,000, you know, 30 years ago, you know, scooping, you know, ice cream, but, you know, this year you made $60,000, you're like, oh, this year is definitely higher. Well, actually, the, you know, the 20, $30,000 20 years ago, you know, adjusted for the wage index, it's actually more than 60000 so don't discount those, you know, early years. So again, it's the high 35 years of earnings and the early, earliest you can retire is 62 years old. And if you wait until your full retirement age, which is probably going to be 67 for you, unless Congress does something stupid and changes it. Um, and you can actually delay it until you're 70 years old. Um, and then you get actually get more benefits. So watch my video on that. But um, so those are your retirement benefits and your spouse can also receive benefits on that as well. And as I mentioned, you know, the Social Security benefits, uh, you, know, it's, uh, you know, from my personal experience, you know, people always say, well, that's not going to be there anywhere. Who, who cares? Um, from my personal experience, my personal opinion, working on the inside for a few decades, that whole doom and gloom that Social Security is not going to be there. And so who cares? I personally believe that, uh, you know, that is the long game that the rich private equity firms and the guys in Wall Street and the rich politicians are playing to make you lose confidence in the system. So you can just turn it over to those Wall Street guys and so they can take all your money and go to you know, Las Vegas and bet it. Um, they've been chomping at the bit, get those trillions of dollars. And, you know, you know, the American public has said, no, 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 we're not going to give it to you. We're not going to give it to you, you know, Wall Street fat cats. And your rich politicians, um, no, we're not going to give it to you. So they're playing the long game to try to convince you that you know it's not going to be there anyway. So who cares? So if you protect Social Security by calling your politicians and make sure they don't do anything privatized by giving it to Wall Street, and, you know, sending it to Vegas, um, 
Uh, but Social Security benefits in and of themselves, I talk to people every single day and there's too many, way too many people that are living just on Social Security and that should never happen. Social Security was never, ever, ever, ever intended to be a sole source of income. It was part of a, a three stool chair. You know, you had Social Security and then you had this thing, pensions, government pensions, or excuse me, not government, uh, but uh, pensions from your company. Um, you know, it, you're ask your father or grandfather about that. You worked at a company you know, like for 40 years or something, and they give you a gold watch and a pension for the rest of your life. Well, those are pretty much gone now. And then your, your own private savings or investments. So one of those stools is, you know, legs of the stool is pretty much gone. Um, so it's the social security and your own private, you know, investments, 401ks, uh, IRAs, whatever the case may be. And the closer you get from my personal experience, talking to hundreds of thousands of people um, going through, you know, there, there's a stock market, you know, once in a life stock market crash, it's supposed to be once in a life stock market crash, like every, you know, 10 or 15 years. So, so yeah, I don't know about the whole once in a life, but every time it happens, you know, within a few months, somebody comes in and say, well, you know, I was, I was doing good. I had all my money in this and, and, uh, you know, I was going to retire nice, but now I've got, you know, my social security check and just a few leftover, a little bit leftover because it was all wiped out. Um, so the closer you get to retirement, the more conservative, take it out of those high, you know, those sure you get a high, high yield and everything, but take it out of the, those very volatile, um, stocks and, you know, put it into something safe. Um, again, if uh, you want me to uh, uh, refer you to a good retirement uh, counselor and um, expert uh, to kind of help you, you know, figure all that out, again, click the learn more button below and I'll put you in touch with someone that, uh, again, is part of our network um, and they can reach out to you and uh, make sure, you know, you're, you're prepared for that, hopefully, inevitability of retirement, right? So that is very important. All right, so again, it's uh, health insurance. Um, next one, I guess, be health insurance. If you're under 50, hopefully you're receiving health insurance. Again, it's one of those things, you don't need it until you need it. Um, we all pay, hate paying for that stuff, but it's, you know, you have to have it. Um, hopefully you're healthy, you're indestructible when you're young. I know I was a Sergeant in the Marine Corps, I was indestructible, but as you can see by my hairline, I'm destructible. Um, so health insurance, you really need health insurance. And people, a lot of people say, well, I don't know how to do it. I, you know, it's too expensive. If it's too expensive, um, you know, this, this Obamacare marketplace, affordable care act, whatever you want to call it, the state exchanges, um, uh, you know, click the learn more button and I'll put you in touch with someone that, that will help you walk through the entire nightmare, but you can get subsidies government subsidies to help you pay for your monthly premiums. And you can also get uh, cost savings as well. Um, so depending on your income, so we can have someone reach out to you and walk you through the entire thing and make sure you're getting all the subsidies and cost savings you can. Um, there's also short term medical. If you're on, uh, if you file for disability, um, you can get dis uh, you can get Medicare. Um, after being on disability for two years. And then obviously Medicare starts, uh, regular Medicare starts when you're 65 years old. Um, so you can watch my videos on um, Medicare there. Um, let's see, I think that is about it. So hopefully the only thing you'll need is, you know, to prepare for retirement in the future. So make sure you do it sooner rather than later. Hopefully. You know, you won't need any survivor benefits for the next uh, 100 years. You won't never have to file for disability um, and all that other kind of good stuff. But at least you are aware of what's out there just in case. Put it in the back of your mind. But, but most importantly, um, you know, make sure you share with your friends and family because there's a lot of people out there that are not receiving the benefits they're entitled to. Again, go to my website, mygovexpert.com. Share it with your friends and family. Um, and that way they are prepared 
for all possible futures. All right. So hopefully that helps and uh, you take care of yourself. Have a beautiful day.